Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys, we're going to create area chart using JavaFX. So I have here a basic example um, implementation of area chart and as you can see here, we have two-dimensional data or two-dimensional graph showing the number of employees and revenue per employee. So we're going to create this. And basically, guys, an area chart is a line chart where the area below the lines are painted with color. So we're going to implement this. We're going to create a new project and um, try to walk you through all the steps that we're going to need in order to in order for us to create area chart in JavaFX. So for now, let's going to create or let's create a new project. And I'm just going to select JavaFX application and I'm going to create or, you know, set the name into demo area chart. And the application class will be org that Samax code that demo and then main. So this is uh, a bit different from previous tutorials, guys, because as you can see from the previous tutorials, we have used the FXML file to create our bar chart, our uh, pie chart, and other charts that we have created in our tutorials. But in this case, we're going to create the um, area chart by using only our main class. So we're not going to use the controller or any, any FXML files. So... I'm just going to close this and I'm going to open up my main that Java file under the demo area chart project. So I'm just going to get rid of this lines right here because we're not going to use this. And yeah, we're going to start working with our main that Java file. So of course, the first thing that we're going to do here is to set the title for our um, stage. So as I've said, we're not going to use FXML and of course the controller class. We're, we're just going to use the main class for our um, area chart project. So we're going to set first the title of our stage. So for example, area chart experiment because we're trying to experiment with area chart. Okay. And then right after this, we're going to declare number axis. And this is for our x axis, right? And then new number axis. Okay. We're going to import this. And we're going to set the label for this. X axis. And then this should be set label. And then number of employees right there and right after this we could copy and paste this and do the same for our y axis okay and then the label of this of course is revenue per employee revenue per employee okay and then right after this, we're going to define our area chart by using the area chart class right here. And then we're going to create an object out of this particular area chart. And then new um, area chart. And then we're going to specify the x-axis and y-axis to this. So x-axis and then y-axis. Okay. And, of course, we're going to um, define also the series of data for our area chart. So, let's import this first. And then define the um, data series for our area chart. So, we're going to use XY chart. And then that series, we're going to specify the name of our object as data series okay equals new xy chart and then series okay 
And of course, right after this, we could set also the name of our um, series by using the method set name. So data series and then set name. And of course, the name will be, um, for example, in the year 2020 or 2019. And then, of course, now we're going to add data to our data series. So data series that get data and then we're going to add new by using also this method add and then xy chart that data and then we're going to specify for example the um, number of sales here so employee one will be 567 for example and then we could copy and paste this to save us some time to create our um, area chart Anyway, this is just an example data for us, you know. Um, this is 612, for example, number of sales, and then 800, and then 780, for example, and um, 810, and 850. And we're going to change also the ID, for example, 5, and then 10, 20, Okay, and then this is 40, and then this is 80. Then right after this, guys, we're going to add the data series into our area chart. So we're going to use the area chart object, and then get data, and then add. And then, of course, we're going to use the data series that we have defined. Okay. And right after this, we're going to add the area chart into our VBox. We're going to use VBox for this. Equals new uh, VBox. And then this should contain our area chart. Okay. Import this. And um, we're going to set some of the options for our primary stage. And then set scene and this should be the scene but before that we're, we're going to add scene first here so scene equals new scene and then this should contain also the v box and for example the height is 400 or i mean the width is 400 by 200 and then of course we're going to set scene now by using the scene object and then primary stage also for setting the height and width okay primary stage that set with for example um, maybe 600 and primary stage that set height equals to 400 and then the last thing will be showing our um, primary stage okay that show and then i think that's all guys we're, we're just going to save this and then run our main that java file and it should display our um, new project area chart with all the information the revenue per employee and then the number of employees in the year 2019 okay so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and as always if you have questions you can ask questions in the comment section below and of course i am inviting you if you are new here in our youtube channel to subscribe and press the notification bell we're going to upload you know videos regarding programming how to create programs, how to create software, how to create installer in JavaFX, Java, PHP, and other technologies. So again, guys, again, guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video.